Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe and an uplift that you would love to be able to share with others please go ahead and do so it'll be greatly appreciated I was trying to make sure my volume was up I put my computer at an angle so y'all can see it you know and then at the end I'll go ahead and uh, show my tarot uh, reading oh I forgot I'm doing tarot readings today I did some yesterday and only got four left because it was like yesterday I was tapped out I was with my grandbaby still with my grandbaby and she was like she wanted me to stay uh, come and spend some time with her so I had to go ahead and stop um, but this is uh, for the month of May. Um, I'm doing uh, the sign of Pisces. If this does not uh, resonate with you, it does not, may not resonate with everybody. But if you know if it doesn't, you know if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Um, and if you're ever interested in a uh, private reading, please you know let me know. Hey universe, what does Pisces need to know for the month of May? What does the month of May have in store for beautiful Pisces? We all been working so hard lately, clearing our path, you know, forgiving, uh, placing love and compassion, you know, giving forgiveness, even especially when forgiveness is hard to forgive, you know, but these are the things that's bettering you in every way. Okay, Pisces, what is this? the insight for Pisces? Oh, soulmate. You got a soulmate coming through. I don't know if you've been uh, working on Twin Flames or it's just uh, a love that um, uh, that has, you know, like y'all connected and then y'all lost touch and brought back. You know, I, I feel a lot of that in this card. Um, there is there is somebody maybe you have went to school with either college, you know, uh, uh, elementary you know whatever grade you were going through and you know y'all really always had a strong connection for a very long time and it's probably that you lost touch you know probably with moving and you may have gotten married I feel like one person got married um, and it just didn't work out you know um, because this person still always had a strong connection with you like they wanted to have more with you um, but uh, you know it wasn't that it, at that time it wasn't right so it, they came back let me see I'm trying to make sure y'all can be able to see it so I got to be picking up everything every five seconds so okay what is it the friendship you know basically what I say y'all were friends at one time. <laughs> y'all are friends it says friendship you know you had friends like y'all were friends first and then you know and not realizing that was you know uh, uh, that somebody that can you know be more you know you truly deserve that they've been in your dreams from what I'm hearing, y'all y'all play uh, really strong cameos in each other's dreams. If y'all see that smoke, it's from my incense that I got burning uh, to purify the vibration through here for me to be able to open up. So yeah, they, they've been playing hard in your dreams. Oh goodness, Pisces, Pisces. But something's going, like I said, something wasn't right at that time. The time, maybe you're clearing yourself out. You just got out of a toxic vibration with, a you know, another person. Um... But this is a person that has been waiting on you. And they're, you know, they understand they're being patient with you. You know, maybe they even help helping you going through your healing. So it was like, the, this is your soulmate. Y'all were friends. You know, y'all been playing cameos and dreams. Like, it gets so real. Like, you, when you wake up, you probably still have their scent on, on you or either on your pillow or your surroundings. So it's not the fact that since that is in reverse, it's like, y'all are going through a healing process so that is not a bad thing you're going through a healing process so this is something that is like a kingdom wife kingdom husband this is a kingdom wed wedding uh, you're going through a spiritual growth 
you know, Pisces, y'all starting off pretty daggone good. I'm <laughs> yeah, like, pretty daggone good. Congrats. Y'all going through strong spiritual growth. You know, you're seeing a lot of things. You're understanding the lessons that you had to go through. Even through very heightened negative circumstances, you're understanding that was a blessing in disguise. You wouldn't have known. You got so much abundance coming your way. And when I see it, it's like when I see it, I see the, uh, matter of fact, I see the bow and arrow. The bow and arrow is coming flying by fast. Like this is going fast, you know, and this is something you don't have to worry about. You know, when y'all get into this uh, uh, solid relationship, this is something that is, you know, divinely guided. So these are the things that's going to, you know, bring you so much abundance. You know, I see uh, financial abundance, spiritual. When when I say this is a person that you may end up having a partnership with, y'all might even have a business together. But there's something that you're still heavy on your mind. Like I said, you're you're ending a toxic relationship. You uh, it may be with a karmic cycle, and that's the reason why your serenity, you know, you're you're not balanced out with things that are taking place right now. But it's not going to be like that all the time. You're manifesting. Like I said, you know, the abundance is like, you, you only got like two cards so far in this in reverse, but it's understandable since you're going through uh, a chain of healing. You know, these are the things that actually happen as normal for that. So you, you're manifesting a lot across the board. Like I said, it's positivity is going to be all across there. So dang, you know, I'm reading these before I even pull them out. But there's so much music that's telling you it's not going to be long. You know, you and this person are, are divine, divinely connected, you know, and there's so much music that's been sent your way. You may be hearing a certain song. I, I forgot what other reading I did this for yesterday where a certain song keeps coming up because it's like I, don't, I keep getting that song uh, by Jodeci. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, gosh, no. what, um, all my life. That's the song I keep getting stuck in my head. Especially when I pull up something that's like celebration or marriage. I keep getting that. Okay. Ooh, ooh. And I'm glad y'all can actually see when I pull them over. Because I don't, you know, because they'll be... I've never had that happen to me before. But, you know, I don't want nobody to ever feel like I'm rigging cards. That's something I don't, you know, I don't be playing with the connection like that. I'm very serious about... Uh, you know, when you when you have to connect with spirit guys, that's one thing you do not want to manipulate. You know, because that that has that holds a very strong karma when you do things like that. If you're doing it for the wrong reasons, or you're trying to do stuff to block people, uh, the connection doesn't like when people do that. So I don't do it. Let's see. That celebration is upside down and it's okay because it this is going to be brief from what they're saying is going to be brief you know there is a uh, in the spirit realm they're planning a big huge celebration for you but it's not at this time it had to be uh, it had to be paused not delayed not denied but paused for a minute because there's still initial healing that's going through and it's, it's like something is deep and this is something that has to happen. And a lot of times it can be frustrating, especially if your patience is being tried, your faith is being tried, and your beliefs is being tried. But this is something that is divine. So this is something that needs to happen. Because if they, if this is a situation where they're blessing you with a union of a, a, of a marriage, a kingdom marriage, they want to make sure there's nothing that gets in the way of that. So they're making sure all your, your, your karma is cleared before they allow that to actually take place. So... Uh, I don't know if that's my daughter. You got new beginnings coming. New beginnings. You got new beginnings coming. Like I said, you're going through a huge, uh, a huge healing, and these are the things that happen. You know, um, your divine masculine, divine feminine. You know, they're going through different things. You have surrendered and released, and that's when you base your intentions on what you want, not focusing on what you don't want that stuff that you don't want is a blessing and they always tell you that i always had to remind myself that when i go through different things it feels very uncomfortable when you are leveling up and from what i'm seeing pisces you know leveled up a lot you you know there's a lot of times where you've seen caution sides and you were just getting too comfortable too comfortable and collecting daggone red flags and you're merging you're merging big time these are the things that's taking place. Okay, you ain't about to have my smoke alarm going off because I ain't about to deal with all that. 
okay, put that over there. <laughs> like they see you know all the dead on smoke alarms gonna start going off. But yeah, there's a powerful merge, and from what I'm hearing, it's this friendship and the soulmate that's coming in. You know, you may be on even on a twin flame uh, relationship that's going on. You uh, there's been science that's going on, but you may be clearing your cycle right now, and it and, and it could be that you're you're in a lot of heaviness of worry. It keeps you up at times. So they're telling you pay again, pay, pay attention to the signs. Y'all hold on, my my daughter just pulled up. Sorry about that, y'all. My daughter came and got her, my grandbaby. Yeah, you um been getting many signs that let you know that you you know new doors are opening for you, old doors are closing. They say one door closes, five of them open back up. Um, Archangel Michael, he's been protecting you, he's been guiding you. You probably get a lot of uh, insight from him on different things. It's like now since you have went through that huge spiritual growth, and I think a lot of us have. Where's that? Yeah, where is it? I can't remember. Uh, you went through spiritual oh yeah it's right here in between the abundance you know your abundance has been opened by your your you know your spiritual growth and um archangel michael has really been protecting you and it's like a lot of times now it's like since you 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 know your your um intuitive is really uh potent right now it's been uh you've been there's a lot of times where you you're learning from mistakes that you already you know, you you already in something before it can even really begin. And, you know, from the things that you're going through, I mean, you got so many good things that's coming on. You know, this is something that is about to take place right here. Recent. This is started off, uh, you know, right here. This is the future and this is uh, current. So, you know, you, you're thinking because you're going through this karmic cycle of healing from an ex that you're still, uh, you know, you're still healing from, that miracles aren't coming your way. And it's actually opposite. You got really, really good things coming your way. And your enchantment, you're seeing the magic within yourself. You know, Archangel Michael has been, you know, really helping you out for that. So it's just like all these different things is coming up. You see that, you know, miracles is coming. You know, you came a long way, even though it may feel like you're not because you're going through heaviness. You know, you're you're really need to do that. And they say you've been going out in nature, but you need to go out a little bit more and you'll start getting more clear signs. It's like a lot of times we stay cooped up and we're in our in our vibes and our fields. You know, this is that time where they're telling you, you know, the, if the weather's, you know, permitting, you know, go outside, you know, even if it's for like about 10, 15 minutes or even 20 minutes just to be able to, you know, just to clear your mind, you know, and just see what what comes to you because you really do. You know, you've earned that. And it's just the fact is what you're going through. You're not taking trust in the process that is taking place. You know, your miracles is in reverse and your trust because you've gone through so much. And it just makes you feel like things are never going to turn around. And they actually are. They're just, you know, your prayers are being answered, but just not in the ways that you, you know, um, that you're feeling. And it's like with your freedom, you know, just like, it, like I said, with your trust in your miracles, you feel like you're in a stagnant vibration, but it's like, these are the things you had to clear out of your life. You have to completely cut it off for that door to automatically close. If you know you're meditating, you're allowing yourself to uh, give forgiveness, even if the, the relationship that is ending is very toxic, like whoever you're dealing with is like very immature or petty, you know, um, these are the things that's helping you from that. There, you know, right now, all of us are clearing toxic patterns, habits, uh, thoughts, these are the things that's going to help you do that from those situations that they're they're trying to place you in or keep you in. Um, but your you know your intention you have to be able to set your intentions up. You know what you want, but it's like the things that this person is placing you in. You know that that's where your mind is going to, and they're telling you place it on on your soulmate, place it on your peace, place it on uh, the things that you know that you want to have coming in your life. You know, this is at that time you're really, really needing that. And, you know, you're taking everything too serious. Like I said, you're going when you're going through that that relationship, you know, it's, it's ending and they know that it's not something easy. They know it's heavy and, you know, and it's just the fact that you've been probably going through it for a long, long time. And this is something that it took you this long, you know, it's probably like a, a big release, like you're finally seeing, you know, 
that this is not the relationship for you. This is not something that you know is going to be, you know, for the rest of your life. This was just a stomping ground that you needed to know. Maybe you were lacking self-love, self-worth, self-confidence. This, this situation is guiding you towards, you know, making your weaknesses your strongest strength. So, but um, you're not accepting yourself. You've been through so much. You know, and it's hard for us at times. It, it could be situations like I know at one time <laughs> I gained so much weight, you know, because I was so tiny after my, my depression. You know, it was hard for me to accept myself. But now it's like I'm loving myself so much because of the fact is even though it, it, it took a big toll on my body, I'm loving myself because the fact is I, I came a lot farther than I ever thought I would. And I had to be able to accept myself flaws and all. And, you know, you're beautiful inside out. You know, accept that. You know, go. you've been meditating. But they're telling you, meditate, you know, if you have to meditate on detachment. If you have to meditate on opening yourself up to positivity. You know, opening your connection with spirit guides. You know, your guides. You know, uplifting your positivity. Uh, boost your, your, you know, your your uh, aura. You know, cleansing your aura, your chakras. Because I feel like your chakras is not all the way in alignment. And they're telling you, you have to go ahead and do that. And romance, like I said, man, look, you got romances coming into your life and that's going to open it up to when you allowing yourself even, um, uh, what is it, telepathic, they're saying, you know, um, even through your telepathic meditation, go ahead and push that through strongly you know because these are you're clearing tides to connect the, uh, the one that's destined. So you got romance coming into your life, hon. I was like, girlfriend, <laughs> it was like I'm talking to my dude friends too. So... Yeah, but you've been studying. There's going to be certain things that's going to come in where somebody's going to talk about it and it's really going to be intriguing to you. And you're going to look it up and you're going to study it. Yeah, you're going to study it. And um, this is going to open a door towards something that's going to connect with that. And it's something you've probably been doing since birth and it's been natural to you. So it's second hand. And you're going to find out something that's new that you've been doing this whole time that people, it is actual a spiritual gift. So it's like when you see the study, you see the, you know, the uh, rainbows. And when you see rainbows, it's always showing you um, when you're going through manifestation, you see a lot of rainbows. It's telling you there's a, there's a big sign of hope, you know, after a huge storm. But um, your balance is off, you know, basically, you know, from... Uh, you know that relationship that you're going through you're going through a huge healing cycle and what, what i feel this is like very toxic you know it could have been emotionally abuse physical abuse spiritual all, all type of abuse all through the board and it's really got you out of whack and this is that time where they're telling you universe is saying i got you and nothing is going to you know no weapon formed against you is going to prosper this is something that you needed to strengthen you in your life and a lot of times like rosin how the heck are we going to get strengthened from a, a toxic relationship you're finding out the do's and don'ts you know, you've gone through relationships. You see what choices you had that led you down a rocky road. It that ended relationships, different things that broke each other's trust. Where you know there's communication that wasn't in all this stuff that you are learning. You know, it was a better benefit for you. So it's telling you to really seek balance. That's maybe the reason why they're telling you to go back in nature because it's like your balance was okay for at one minute and then something, you know, took place with this person or a situation personally with you. Um, it really puts you out of back. And you're, you know, from all that, you're feeling like your prayers aren't being answered and they actually are. And it's just like, you, you know, they see, you know, you see the woman that's praying. They know, you know, you're going through a lot of different things in your life. And they're telling you this is going to bring you out so much better. So they're telling you, you know, don't fret that situation. And no one is divinely guided. And you, you have to understand, like I said, this is a kingdom uh, marriage. Whatever you're going through is leading you towards a kingdom marriage. That person was just, you know, I, I'll tell people real quick. Those wrong relationships will teach you the right lessons. A lot of times people come into your life, it could be a guy, you know, you mess with a girl that, you know, you, you don't cheat, you're financially stable, the sex is on point, communication is all there, you're, you know, you cater to it, but she used to bad boy, she used to thug, she used to dusty, she used to FBs, you know, the boys, you know, stuff like that, and you, you're actually, you know, your husband material, but that chick is going to show you so much about what a woman is not supposed to be. 
a real woman's not supposed to be. And it could be the opposite for women. You don't mess with a dusty. You don't mess with a boy. You know, you don't mess with somebody like that. That person's going to show you all of what a man is not. And it's going to make you appreciate that when that person comes through that is actually there for you. That, you know, you're going to see those relationships that you have been in was a blessing in disguise. So they're telling you, you know, this was divine, divinely guided. Tell me, pull two more cards. You're, you're listening. They're telling you to listen. It's like your, your spirit guides are there. And they're really telling you to really listen, you know, because it's like the answer prayer is divine guided. And this is going on. They're like, listen. We're showing you, we're telling you things are, are good, you know, and it's a matter of fact, it's just like this whole line right here is like this. It goes like a backward H, you know, it's like your miracles is coming in. But, you, you know, Archangel Michael is really telling you that miracles are there, you know, have fun, you know, based on your intentions on what you want in your life, you know, seek that balance. Know that your prayers are being answered. Everything you're going through is divinely guided. And it's just like, listen to what they're telling you because there are so many beautiful things that's in store for you. You have to believe it. And a lot of times we're going through that. Okay. Let me see. Two more. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay. Sorry, I had to do <laughs> Kevin Hart. Okay. Focus. Focus, 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 focus. Focus on what you need, what, what you're needing into your life. You know what you want. You know what you're tired of dealing with. You know, and you putting the action behind the words and your intentions. Baby. It's going to work for you. It's really going to work. And it's like your guardian angel, you know, um, our loved ones, there was a lot of loved ones that passed on is like guiding us. They got hand in hand or like, hey, we got you. We're protecting you. We're giving you insight. We're giving you omens, all these different things. We are always there. You know, when you're, you know, universe and God and, and um, our spiritual reinforcements, our spirit, spiritual ancestors and all those different things, they're there to protect us. They're there to guide us. They're there, you know, um, they're they're there to give us warnings but it's just the fact is when it gets to that one time where you know you've been trying to do everything on your own this is at that time you know that's usually where trust and integrity card comes in where they're telling you you know you're in an unhealthy situation if it's supposed to be mended you know ask them for that assistance and when you're asking them for that assistance you know they're either going to help you break that all the way off because it's not for you or they're going to help you mend that out you know, um, but it's like, like I said, you have a soulmate card, you know, you got a soulmate that was your friend, you know, this is somebody that you knew, it could be somebody from your past, um, that's coming back, you know, y'all ended on good terms and y'all still stay friends, you know, abundance is coming through this soulmate friendship and dreams, you know, they come through all the time, you know, and it's like your spiritual growth is heightened, you know, um, but it's like that new love is, is coming in, but y'all both going through a healing cycle. And it's just like you're manifesting the abundance. You're manifesting through your... It's like your abundance is man, uh, manifesting through your soulmate, your friendship, you know, and your dreams. You know, these different things. But they need you to get that peace into your life. You know, listen to the music. You know, there's celebrations that is um, in the air for you. You know, and it's clearing everything out for this to be able to come in. Because this is like... It's like you're... Th th this is kind of like... um. Uh, uh, what do they call that? Arranged marriage, but this is like you know, not like arranged marriages they have like over, over, um, like in those you know, different places where they have it like when you're 12, 13 years old, or you know, when they have it planned at that time. But this is something that was arranged by the divine, and they're saying that the things like whoever they were with, they were in a toxic vibration and they ended that. You know, this may be a marriage that you were in, you know, and that mess was just like a whole hot mess. But yeah, you know, um, and this is the reason why I allowed y'all to see that. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up so y'all can be able to see what's going on. And you, you know, in case you want to make sure all these cards, you can be able to see them. Okay. Abundance. Okay. 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 So, Pisces, I hope that helped you. You know, I'm sending so many healing vibes towards your way. You got this. You know, there's so many, you know, you're not the only one going through different changes into your life. That, that got bright real quick. <laughs> that got real clear. You know, um, 
that you're going through and it's okay you know we're all going through different things we're seeing you know you have to be able to see even your worst moments are a blessing in the skies they really are and these things are taking you towards bigger and better you know these things are helping you get on that next level so I hope this was able to give you that blueprint of, you know, what needs to take place, you know, trusting the divine, knowing they got everything, you know, going for you. They're not going to place you in a situation that they can't pull you out of. They're not going to get you through, you know, and it's taking you towards bigger and better. And you know, there's going to be a moment where you're going to look back at this situation and be so glad that you went through it because it brought you so much strength it brought you so much you know recognize your power and added power to that so if you ever are interested in a private reading please you know let me know i keep my contact information in the description box below i really love doing this i haven't done this in a, in a long time well actually it's been like two months i think it has been so you know hopefully this is something that you know you you would love to be interested in contacting me for so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video y'all it's almost the weekend baby so, I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible and safe for everything you do. Uh, knowing whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, is really coming for you. And then I'm sending that extra vibration, you know, for you to bring something else in that you would never imagine. So, you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.